Hi, thanks for tuning in to this video. Uh, we're going to have a look at uh, working with some multi samples on the, the deluge. Um, I think some of these features are new in the new update. So, um, yeah, we'll crack straight on with it. Um, so, yeah, using multi samples is not something I've used a lot, really. Um, something I suddenly thought about this week and thought, oh, I suppose I'd have a go at doing that. And uh, I have. And it, they're quite cool, actually. Um, so I've downloaded a orchestral multi-sample pack. I'll put a link for that in the description. It's a free pack. It's just available on the Synthdrum. Somebody's posted it up on the Synthdrum forums on one of those. But it's got some really nice orchestral like, strings and keys and pianos and that kind of stuff in it. Um, so we're going to start off with a new synth. So we're going to go shift synth to load in a new synth and then we're going to go shift and third button down which is our browse button it will say there bottom to top ignore that for now and we're going to press enter and then uh, it's probably just a case if you're just browsing and navigating to wherever you've got your multi-sample folded um, saved on your memory card um, so if you do download this one it comes up as, just so you can see where it is, it's VSCO2 something or other, master. Um, so that's your folder name. So if you go into that, there are various different folders within there. But if we go into the multi-samples folder, and for now I'm going to go into the strings and the violins. I'm going to go violin section, and I'm going to use this second one here. Okay, this one. Now the important thing is to load. Let's turn it down a sec. To load a multi-sample, you have to hold down and press on the select button. Okay, until it says multi. I think I'm right with this. And then press again, and it will load it in as a multi-sample. So we've now got it loaded in. So okay, we've got that nice sort of string sound, but it kind of sounds a bit weird because as soon as you take your finger off the key, it's stopping. So get over that we're just going to add a little bit of release so third button along with our release and so we can have a bit of reverb if we want And so on. Okay, getting a bit carried away there. Um, so that's it, sort of loading a multi-sample in in its basic form. We can layer up um, two different samples at the same time to fill up the whole thing. So to do that, we're going to put the second one on Oscillator 2. So shift and then, remember, there's your browse button for Oscillator 1. This is your browse button for Oscillator 2. What we'll do on Oscillator 2 is we'll stick some kind of plucked... Um, violins let's go with that one will do okay same thing loading the multi sample and hopefully you can hear we've now got those two sounds layered up I just put something a little bit more obvious on um, oscillator two. Let's go with um, fan. It's probably a loud one of those. Let's try that one. Hopefully, you can hear that. Let's try one more. So I'm try. Let's try a totally different instrument. Let's go. Um, let's go with the piano. So go in the keys. I'll do. Okay, so you can pretty much straight away here now we've got piano and We've got a piano and uh, strings layered up together, which is very nice. So that's how you can do that with two oscillators. Now, the other thing we can do is have like little different regions of our keyboard. 
with different sounds on. So we might want to have strings kind of on this section and then say the piano on the top section. So let's show you how to do that. So we're starting with a new kit again. So we're going to go into a new synth and we're going to do this all on oscillator one. So we're going to browse again. Ah, keep doing that. Uh, no, that's right. And let's get back to, sorry, the wrong button. Yeah, violin section again. Oh, hang on. Yeah, that's right. Violin section sustained. Uh, we'll load that same one in again, which is that one. Okay, there's a mod sample. Okay, now what you can see is it, it kind of splits the, the keyboard up into different zones. Um, let's just take it out of scale mode. You can see it a little bit easier. So when I go into browse, you can see we've got this zone here. So at the moment, this is telling us from B3, which is this note here, right up to the top is one zone. And if I kind of press on anywhere down here, you can see we've got another zone here from C3 to A3. And it kind of breaks it up in different zones depending on the, um, the sample that you've loaded. So let's say we're going to keep this, this bottom zone with this kind of lower um, violin sound. But I don't want it because it's going to go from the bottom, which is right down there. Um, so what I'm going to suggest is we're going to have it from, let's say, okay, I'm going to take that zone. I'm going to put the, there, start again. <laughs> I'm going to put the violin on just on one octave. So we're going to go from C2. Um, to to B2. Okay, so if we go back into Browse again, and I'm going to just sort of select roughly round here, and that's telling us this zone at the moment is going from E2 to C3. Now, if we turn this dial, you'll see the uh, the top bit of the zone flashes, and if we go that way, the bottom bit of the zone flashes, then we can change it with this. So I'm going to change this to start at C2, okay, which is here. And then we're going to end it on B2. So that zone for that violin, we'll go back into, no, I'll leave it on that one. Okay, it's going to kind of end there. So what I'm going to then do is on C3, let's create another zone there. So we'll go back into Browse again. So it's already on C3, it's in that zone there. But I'm going to go from C3 to um, B2. Sorry, to B3. So let's just take that there. Okay, so that octave. Right, so that's now got that section selected from C3 to B3. To put another sample in there, all I do is we can just browse again. So let's say I'm going to put a piano on that one. Now, the important bit here is that you don't load it as a multi-sample because if you do, it will fill up the whole thing again. Which again, I think I'm correct in doing that. I will demonstrate that in a minute. But if we put the piano, that one will do, in that zone. Okay, we've now got the piano in that zone and the strings in that zone. But the problem is it's pitched that up because that's way too high now. Sounds a little bit weird. Uh, so it's going to kind of like guess where you are on the octave and pitch it up and so on accordingly. Not a problem. If we go back into our browse again, so we select the zone that we want to change, and then what we're going to do is second button up here, we're going to go shift, transpose. So you can see that's transposed that up about um, three, oh, not about, exactly three octaves. So if I just take that down to wherever I want it, so you can hear the strings. That sounds all right to me. So we've now got strings in this zone. piano in that zone and then obviously we've got other zones we've got a zone up here we could put something else in there okay let's just demonstrate so let's just demonstrate if we load it in as a multi-sample okay so remember we've got strings there we've got piano we've got strings so if I go in this zone here and oops sorry press that and I'm going to load in let's put in an organ That one will do. Okay, so if I load that now as a multi-sample, let's see what happens. 
Okay, so you can see it's still got those zones, but it's now wiped out all my other zones. So that's the important thing to remember is when you're loading different zone instruments on different zones, don't load them as a multi-sample. It's just a single press to load it, not the long press um, until it says multi. So hopefully that was of some use to you. And it's, it's really nice, you know, if you want to do some um, kind of strings down here and then play piano stuff up here, really, really cool way of, of doing that. And it's not something I realised you could do, actually, until until recently. So I thought I would share my bit of knowledge with you. And, yeah, so hopefully that was of some use to you and of some interest. Uh, usual things, you know, if you like the video, please like it, subscribe, and share it around and all the other stuff. If you have got any suggestions as to how, you know, you might want to use multi-samples in a different way than I've just showed you or any improvements on what I've just showed you, then please feel free to stick those in the comments box below. Uh, I don't, um, you know, pretend to say I'm the... Uh, the master of all knowledge on the uh, the deluge. I just like to share stuff with it with you when I uh, when I find stuff that I think is quite cool. Um, so yeah, if you want to check my music out as well, I'm all over the place on Spotify and iTunes and Deezer and all those kind of things. And any streams or downloads do help me to keep the channel going and keep making new music. I'll finish off with a little. Um, uh, I'll just play a little bit on here. I've got a. Uh, just a, a a violin section loaded in um and i'll uh yeah i'll play you out with a little bit of lovely music okay thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one